Have you ever wondered what it's like to climb Africa's highest peak, Mount Kilimanjaro? Nestled in the heart of Tanzania, this majestic giant stands tall, boasting a snow-capped peak that pierces the African skyline. Her allure is not only her height, but her unique ecological system, making her a popular destination for adventurers from the world over. Join us as we journey through the diverse climates and unique experiences that make Kilimanjaro more than just a mountain. Kilimanjaro is not just a mountain, it's a geological marvel. Towering over the East African plains, this extraordinary landscape was crafted over a million years ago by the sheer force of volcanic activity. It's a tale of fire and brimstone that has sculpted one of the world's most iconic peaks. The mountain is comprised of three volcanic cones, Kibo, Mowenzi, and Shira. Each cone has its own story to tell. Kibo, the highest, still slumbers with the potential to awaken once again. Its dormant status doesn't lessen its grandeur, with the Uhuru Peak on the crater rim standing as the highest point in Africa. Mowenzi, to the east, is an extinct volcano, its jagged peak reaching skyward in a dramatic show of ancient volcanic power. Shira, the oldest and first to become extinct, now forms a plateau that serves as a haunting reminder of the mountain's fiery birth. But Kilimanjaro isn't just a geological wonder, it's a testament to the spirit of adventure, a beacon for explorers drawn to its towering heights. The first recorded attempt to conquer its summit was in the late 19th century, an endeavor led by Hans Meyer, a German geographer who, after several attempts, finally stood victorious atop Kibo in 1889. His triumph paved the way for countless adventurers to follow in his footsteps. Woven into the tapestry of Kilimanjaro's history are the local legends that speak of spirits and deities residing within the mountain. The Chaga people, native to the area, hold many myths and stories about Kilimanjaro. Some believe that the mountain is the home of a god, others say it's the dwelling place of a giant serpent. These legends, passed down through generations, add a cultural richness to this geological masterpiece. Such a rich history only adds to the allure of this majestic mountain. From its volcanic birth to the myriad adventures it has inspired, Kilimanjaro stands as a testament to the power of the natural world and the unending curiosity of mankind. It's not just a mountain, it's a monument to the enduring spirit of adventure and the fascinating complexity of our planet's geological history. Climbing Kilimanjaro is an adventure of a lifetime. Every year, thousands of climbers from around the globe are drawn to this Tanzanian wonder, each with their own story, each with their own reason to conquer Africa's highest peak. There are several routes to the summit, each with its own unique challenges and breathtaking views. The Meringue route, also known as the Coca-Cola route, is the most popular. It's the easiest and shortest route, but don't let that fool you. The ascent is steep and the pace is fast, making it a real test of endurance. Then there's the Mashame route, or the Whiskey route as it's fondly called. It's longer and more challenging, but it offers a more gradual ascent, making it a favorite amongst seasoned climbers. The route winds through lush rainforests, over rocky ridges, and finally, up the steep scree slope to the summit. The Lamosho route is a less traveled path, but it's known for its stunning panoramic views and diverse landscapes. It's a longer journey, giving climbers ample time to acclimatize and truly immerse themselves in the beauty of Kilimanjaro. Preparing for the climb is no small feat. It requires months of physical and mental preparation. Climbers need to build their stamina, acclimatize to high altitudes, and prepare for the unpredictable weather conditions. And then there are the challenges of the climb itself. The steep slopes, the thin air, the biting cold. But with every step, with every breath, climbers are rewarded with the raw, unspoiled beauty of Kilimanjaro. And let's not forget, climbing Kilimanjaro isn't just about reaching the summit. It's about embracing the journey, about pushing your limits, about discovering the strength within you. It's about walking through lush rainforests, across vast moorlands, witnessing the stark beauty of the alpine desert, and finally standing atop the icy peak looking out at the world below. But the journey isn't just about reaching the top, it's about experiencing the mountain's unique climate zones. Kilimanjaro is a world within a world, each climate zone a different realm. Imagine stepping into a lush tropical rainforest, then walking through a moorland filled with heather, before crossing an alpine desert and finally venturing into Arctic conditions. That's precisely the journey you embark on when you climb Mount Kilimanjaro. 
The journey begins in the rainforest zone, where the air is thick with mist and the ground is carpeted with ferns, mosses and lichen. The trees tower above, forming a green canopy and providing a home to a myriad of creatures, from monkeys to vibrant bird species. As we ascend, the rainforest gives way to the moorland. The vegetation becomes sparser and the trees are replaced by shrubs and heather. This zone is a paradise for botanists, with its unique array of flora, including the tree-like giant lobelia and the ground-hugging everlasting flower. Next, we encounter the stark beauty of the alpine desert. Here, the landscape is barren, and the air is thin. It's a harsh environment, but even here, life finds a way. You might spot a few hardy bird species, or even a chameleon. The final zone, the Arctic zone, is a world of ice and rock. The air is freezing and the oxygen is scarce. It's a harsh, unforgiving environment, yet it's home to the hardy Kilimanjaro mouse and the white-necked raven. But these unique ecosystems are under threat. Climate change is causing the glaciers at the summit to recede, and the rainfall patterns are becoming more unpredictable. This impacts the delicate balance of life in each zone, threatening the unique flora and fauna that call Kilimanjaro home. Each zone is a testament to nature's diversity, but the final challenge awaits at the summit. The Arctic conditions are harsh and the altitude is challenging, but the view from the top is a reward worth every step. It's a journey through the world within a world, a testament to the power and beauty of our planet. Reaching the summit of Kilimanjaro is an achievement few can boast of. It is not just about the physical exertion, but also about the battle you wage with your mind, pushing past boundaries you never thought you could. As you ascend, the air thins out, making each breath a conscious effort. This is the dreaded altitude sickness, an invisible adversary that climbers often grapple with. Yet with every step taken, the resolve strengthens, the spirit soars. Overcoming these challenges, when you finally set foot on Uhuru Peak, the highest point of Kilimanjaro, the feeling is surreal. A sense of accomplishment washes over you, a testament to human resilience and determination. You stand there, at the roof of Africa, taking in the panoramic view that unfolds before your eyes. Amid the biting cold and gusty winds, you realize it's not just a mountain you conquered, but also a part of yourself. The journey may be tough, but the reward is a view that's truly out of this world. But this natural wonder is under threat and needs our help. Mount Kilimanjaro, a beacon of natural beauty, is facing a significant challenge, the impact of tourism. Each year, the mountain attracts thousands of adventurers from around the globe, drawn by its unique ecosystems, breathtaking views, and the exhilaration of scaling Africa's highest peak. However, this influx of visitors is not without consequence. The footfall of eager climbers, coupled with the necessary infrastructure to support them, can exact a heavy toll on the mountain's delicate ecosystems. Litter, erosion, deforestation and water contamination are just some of the issues that pose a threat to Kilimanjaro's pristine beauty and the diverse wildlife it supports. But it's not all doom and gloom. A number of commendable efforts are underway to counter these challenges and preserve the majesty of Kilimanjaro for generations to come. Local and international organisations, along with the Tanzanian government, are implementing measures to minimise the environmental impact. These include strict regulations on littering, initiatives to promote sustainable tourism, and the employment of local guides and porters who are trained in conservation practices. The Kilimanjaro Porters Assistance Project, for instance, educates porters on the importance of environmental conservation and provides them with the necessary equipment to ensure a minimal footprint on the mountain. There are also reforestation efforts underway. Trees are being planted to replace those lost to deforestation helping to restore the mountain's unique vegetation and combat the effects of climate change. These endeavours highlight the collective responsibility we all share in preserving our planet's natural wonders. Each one of us, whether a climber, a guide or a spectator, has a role to play in this grand conservation effort. Through education, responsible tourism and the unwavering commitment of dedicated individuals and organisations, we can help safeguard the future of this magnificent mountain. It's up to us to ensure that future generations can experience the wonder of Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is more than just a mountain. It's a journey through diverse climates, from tropical rainforests to Arctic peaks. It's a challenge that tests the spirit of adventurers and rewards them with unparalleled views and a sense of accomplishment. 
It's a testament to the beauty of our planet and the importance of conservation. As we've seen, Kilimanjaro is not just a natural wonder, but a symbol of human endurance and our relationship with the environment. Whether you're an adventure enthusiast or a nature lover, Kilimanjaro is a journey worth taking.